But yeah, of course, you know, when I got called up for the first time, you know, been at Bournemouth for seven years and coming to a, a new environment was different, let, let alone coming in with a group of players that, you know, spoke a different accent to me, had a different accent to me. So um, there were, the reason I was saying it was purely down to the fact that I look in an ideal world that, you know, a young lad grows up in Ireland, he comes through the ranks, through the Irish teams and plays for a, you know, a local side and the best case scenario, they move on to, you know, England or abroad and, and they play well and, and they get into the Irish senior side and if that was the case and then there was an English born player who, you know, had the same ability as him and he, the English player, born player got, you know, picked ahead, I, I would see that as a little bit unfair and one thing I'd say that I think as a country and as a management, they've got it spot on in the sense of they, they pick players you know, in the end, purely based on ability, and if it is an English-born player that that deserves to play, um, you know, they're playing. D does that mean you you perhaps even have to f you have to fight even harder to to get a place in the team? No, if there's a what I was saying was if there was an Irish player who'd grown up here and and um, you know full Irish and. He had the exact same ability as me. Um, you know, I, I, I personally think that that player would deserve to play over me because of the upbringing he's had here and um, what he would have done for his local club and his area. It would be, you know, much bigger and better for the country f for that. Um, but as I say, ability-wise, if if I'm playing better than someone, but just because they're full Irish, and as I say, I think the the management team here and as a country, we've got it spot on. Um, you know, they know when the right time to to, to play someone.